So what does a blower motor resistor or control module look like? Here we have the two different versions of climate control for our 2013 through 16 Ford Escapes. On the left is the base climate control, on the right is the auto climate control. For the base climate control and the manual knobs for fan speed, you're going to have the blower motor resistor, which is this piece right here. For the automatic climate control, you're also going to have a blower motor resistor, but it's going to have a second wire harness. This is called the blower motor control module as well, and the part numbers for each of these are listed below. If you stick with the part numbers, you'll be okay, but also be prepared to see the similar names below for the auto HVAC resistor control module on different websites. Regardless of which one you have, the procedure to remove this and change it is generally the same. Both components have a tuck tab, highlighted in blue, and both have wire harness connections in red, and both are fastened with a T20 Torx in green. To keep you on the fast track, we're going to share with you all of our learning curves from doing this procedure. If we were to do this all over again, we would recommend from the start to remove the accelerator pedal for much better access to this resistor location. Next, remove the T20 Torx screw from the resistor once it's taken out. It's not worth losing the screw trying to have it live in the resistor the whole time. Just keep it off to the side. Also, number three, a 90 degree angle is very handy if you get a good one that stays together. Four, a flex extension is very handy, as you'll see with some of the odd bends here and there. And to power this flex extension is just a basic screwdriver with a hand receiver. It's all you need because it's very low torque and force needed to do the nuts for the accelerator pedal as well as the T20 Torx. Tools needed for this procedure include a T20 Torx bit, a 10 millimeter deep socket with driver, an optional angle driver or flex extension, as well as painter's tape for a tip that we'll get to soon. To show you where this resistor is located, start in the driver's footwell, go to the accelerator pedal area, and look up. Here's the resistor location, and to the left is the troublesome accelerator pedal which you'll want to dismount. To remove this accelerator pedal, remove the two 10mm hex nuts securing the pedal to the floor. You're going to want to use a deep socket to do this. Here I'm also using the flex extension, which is fairly handy. Remove the pedal and push it off to the side for better access. Now we're going to jam the phone up there and I'm going to show you where that tiny T20 Torx screw is. Right there. That's it. This molded clearance pathway, that scoop, is a really nice physical locator when you're feeling up there blindly for your fingers. Here I have the T20 Torx bit with the angle driver and flex extension located up at the top with that plastic divot we just talked about. You can unscrew it and then once the T20 Torx screw is loose, you can pop the resistor free from its location. Once the resistor is free, disconnect the two wire harnesses, or one if you only have the base model. There it is. Swap it out for a new one. Now the fun part of reaching up there blindly to put it back together. For a point of reference to know where you're going to be putting this resistor, I did my best to stick the phone back up there. It's hard to see, but in the top left corner is the slot where you're going to tuck the tab of the resistor, and on the bottom right is the T20 Torx location. Let's start by reinstalling your single or dual wire harnesses to your resistor. And then do your best to push the resistor upwards with the T20 Torx screw mounting on the low side and the tuck tab on the high side. Here's where our tips really come into play. Again, with the accelerator pedal removed, it should be much easier to push this new resistor upwards. It'll also save some anxiety to remove the T20 Torx screw at this point so that it doesn't fall out and get lost some area above the footwell. Finally, insert the tab of the resistor into the slot and rock it downwards to fit in place. Try shifting it side to side to confirm that it's properly located and ready to receive the T20 Torx screw to be secured. Check out this next tip on how to reach up with the T20 Torx screw. So unless you have a magnetic bit, I'm going to take this T20 screw and this bit right here and just wrap some tape around it. Because I know once I get it in there, then I can twist it and tighten it. And then as soon as it's tight, I can just pull it away and it'll release. Now we're going to reach up and get it started. Once the threads engage with the plastic, we're going to remove the bit, then plug it into our 90 degree angle driver with our flex extension and our hand driver and tighten it. And then finally we're going to reinstall the two nuts securing the accelerator pedal back to the floor. 
These two nuts should be snug and your pedal should be secured. If you need a refresher on part numbers, they're listed in the description below as well as in the Rarina mobile app. You can download that from any app store. Please give this video a thumbs up and a like. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe and share.